open. So ladies and gentlemen, this is not just an object, it's a mobility system and we are going to explain it to you with the video that we created for you to give you more detail. Please have a look, enjoy. <laughs> Gentlemen, pop up. So, Matthias, the first question is for you. What are the main drivers for Airbus driven this concept? Well, as you can see, um, multimodal transport in the third dimension is a new thing. Um, and it's really driven by technology, the same technology that's driving mobility in general. It's, like you mentioned, Jörg, it's uh, electrification, it's connectivity, it's autonomy, and and, and these are the things that we're working on and that we're working on with you now um, because we can see the synergies of two sectors coming together. Thank you, Peter. Jörg, I have a question for you. Why, why did Digital Design drive this project? Well, we were working on this project because we thought that we found the ideal partner also to spark an idea into the industry that was very important for us because we think, as Matthias said, we have now the technology available to really make this happen. So there's a feasible autonomous concept that shows intermodality and modularity. These two points, intermodality and modularity, are really important to make this happen. And all this is destined, and that's our target, to increase the quality of life and people in mega cities. Matthias, when do you think this will become a reality? Well, I'd hope um, it could be a reality tomorrow. And as a matter of fact, um, vehicles are already flying, and we will fly uh, later this year, our first demonstrator. But um, we, we expect a commercial uh, commercially available service to, to see the world in perhaps as little as seven to ten years. Um, and this is because uh, technology is already out there. Um, we think, however, that uh, just like what we've seen for autonomous cars, there are a couple of things to overcome, uh, not alone uh, regulation of things that couldn't have been imagined just years ago, and, uh, and then public acceptance, you know, popping up in, uh, in the air is going to be very exciting to me and to many, but novel to, to others. And, and so we need to work with, uh, with everyone to imagine how that's going to be. Thank you, Matthias. Jörg, we saw from the movie this is a modular system. What she, which is the, the philosophy behind this concept? Well, we thought it's extremely important to have a modular system because then you can really shape the system in the best way for the specific use cases. You saw that the systems are intermodular. This means they are brought into other transportation systems. This is important because you cannot spend huge money in infrastructure cost. Extremely important for us. But also when it's airlifted, when the capsule is airlifted, it's really important that the lowest possible weight is in there and the highest payload so that the customer can go with it the furthest. And uh, finally, also very important is that there's an electronic platform that via an artificial intelligence manages the whole travel. So 
we want to help you to commute in the best potential way, and this is managed for you by an intelligent electronic platform. Matthias, I have a last question for you. How this project can be linked, or what your relation with the other Airbus projects? Well, urban air mobility is really the perfect opportunity for Airbus because it creates that beautiful integrated uh, journey that uh, we want to give to the passengers who already fly on our commercial jets, a better way to get to the airport. At the same time, it's an excellent opportunity for us as a group because we have capabilities in vertical flight already. We have capabilities in autonomous uh, and remote operated vehicles. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect opportunity and we're, we're gonna be working hard on it in the coming decade. Jörg, last question for you too. Let's make a further leap to the future. What do you see for the future of this project? Well, for us, it's very important that we show how we can venture with partners and cooperate with other uh, technology giants, so to speak, and to really make sure that something comes into place. So we want to make sure together that we're really extending our network and work with tech giants, with OEMs, of course, because we think we have a lot to give and a lot to introduce to the market and really to improve the quality of life. And that's really important. We are going to push it further from here. We have one goal to really improve the situation and to have it flying in seven or 10 years. Well, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, pop up. I welcome everybody of you now to join us on the stage. Please, Filippo, join us uh, here as well. Uh, I would like to uh, inform you that we have a very nice uh, virtual reality uh, simulation here and an immersive experience inside the capsule. Thank you very much to everybody for being here and you're welcome to see the pop-up and zero-one enclosed view. Thank you very much.